Hello and welcome back to another Dallas Designer Handbags New Arrivals video. As usual, I'll be showing you the new arrivals that we have received. This is the Totally in the Azure print in the GM size. This one reminds me of the Neverfull, except it actually has a zipper and it has a pocket on the sides. <coughs> if we take a look inside of the bag, you take a look at the interior. It is very clean. It does have two pockets in the back. And if we flip it over, it has one white pocket. So as you can tell, the vachetta on here has developed into a great honey color. It is not brand brand new, but it developed really well. And the previous owner took care of it very well. Hence the inside. As I said, this is in the Azure print. It's really hard to keep clean just because it's white. I know I can't. But honestly, I prefer this color or this print to be worn in the summer. Moving on, we have this Louis Vuitton Bloomsbury crossbody. I know they don't make these bags anymore, but this one, as well whoever owned it it's in great condition if you take a look and see the handle it's almost brand new this is such a functionality bag it also has the little blue paper so you know it was well taken care of this reminds me sort of like the Odeon it has the same concept it has a pocket in the front it's pretty deep easy access if you're on the go perfect for traveling not only does it have the two pockets and the inside is extremely clean but they also provided a organizer like the divider so you can put your things in here instead of actually putting your things inside the bag or worrying about getting it dirty or anything. So there's the Bloomsbury. And I believe this is in the size PM. So the PM looks pretty big. So now imagine the MM. Next is this Louis Vuitton Dayton reporter bag. in the print graphite it does have a back pocket so for all you guys out there that like to travel this is a bag you can do it also has a zipper in the front the zipper in the front is pretty steep easy to get to and inside has two pockets in the back. Really functional if you're on a go traveling basis. The strap is great for support. You can adjust it. Moving on is the Artsy and the MM and the imprint. The Artsy MM imprint and the black. One of the hottest items out there. Reason why Louis Vuitton is still making them. The braided handle gives you enough structure, support. Have a chain.
Moving on to this other Louis Vuitton. I'm not. It does have a removable strap. It is red in the front and in the back. So you can wear it both ways. If we take a look in the inside, it has a dust bag, it has the two pockets. It does its justice. It's a small bag, but it's nice. It can be an everyday bag or a going out bag. The red on here honestly makes it pop out. And especially with the monogram, great combination. Has a zipper in the front too. And here is the Louis Vuitton Matisse Hobo. They discontinued these bag as well. Has the handle. And it has the extra strap. The strap obviously is too short to be worn. It has a crossbody, so it's mainly as a shoulder bag. You can either remove the strap and carry it as a handbag or just carry it as a shoulder bag. It's much similar to the Matisse. Has the pocket in the front. This one does have the rubber on here because I know that sometimes the other ones didn't have the rubber so it would honestly scratch the plaque on here so the rubber at least helps a bit it is a hobo so it is open it does not have a zipper on top but it does have a zipper in the inside it is sort of slouchy just depends how you do stuff it and Last but not least, we have the Louis Vuitton Montaigne in the GM size. It has a strap on here, same concept, remove the strap, and you can wear it just as a handbag. It does have a clasp, it does not have a zipper, but it does have a divider in the middle and it separates the two compartments so there you have it your mounting thanks for well thanks for watching stay tuned for the next new arrivals video